Hey, in the book The Art of Living by Bob Proctor and Sandra Gallagher, there's a, they, they share an idea that I wanted to share with you. It might be challenging for a lot of parents and adults, but it was the idea that what we're doing to kids nowadays might be considered in a hundred years or maybe even sooner, they say even a, like a criminal act. And what they talk about is like when it comes to imagination and creativity, right? Think about a kid in class when their, their imagination is running wild and they're thinking about things and they get panic, punished, right? They get punished, they get told, stop doing that, pay attention, this is what you have to do. And think about all the things that we do to kids when they simply don't behave the way we want them to, the way we expect them to behave, right? And when I look at kids, I get very inspired because I think a lot of the things that we lose as adults, kids still have that and they show that in us. And sometimes what I've seen, this might be only my opinion, but adults that have lost their passion, creativity, a lot of those things, when they see that in kids, it might trigger things in you, right? I know in the past, Sometimes he, he used to trigger things in me, like I used to be extremely passionate and then I kind of lost that going through high school and college and work life and all that after college. I kind of lost that passion and I used to see that and I love that in kids. I love how passionate and energetic and enthusiastic they are about life. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes maybe that triggered little things in me, right? It pushes a button in you when it's something that you don't like about yourself maybe or you want to change or things like that and someone shows that to you and I see that in a lot of people like that kind of triggers them because maybe, maybe at a deeper level, maybe, I don't know there's a part of you that's like holy crap I wish I could be that way again I wish I could have that passion again, I wish I could have that enthusiasm for life for no reason, right? That you don't need a raise at work to be happy or to find a partner in your life for you to finally be happy or for you to have that $500,000 in the bank for you to finally be happy. Kids are happy for no <laughs> reason, right? They're very enthusiastic about life. And think about how we crash that in kids like we... If a kid is very happy and energetic and enthusiastic, we tell them to calm down, slow down, be quiet, please, right? And I understand it's not easy to be a parent, not easy to be a teacher when you have a, a room full of kids going crazy. But what if we can put ourselves in their shoes a little more and think like, wow, like that's so beautiful. It's so beautiful and inspiring to see that in a person, in a human being, in a tiny little person, so much happiness, so much enthusiasm, so much passion for life, right? I think if we can go back to that ourselves, right? I believe the more we do that ourselves, the more we actually maybe enjoy that from other people. I know that the more that I bring my inner child out, the more that I bring that playfulness and just fooling around and being happy for no reason, just being me, right? That kind of... What's the war that I'm looking for? It's kind of contagious, right? Everyone around you has that. And I think it's unfortunate that sometimes as adults we're so stressed out and so busy that kids cannot pass that on to us because we're so maybe in the mind, in the future, right? Thinking about the future all the time because of how stressed out we are. And there was another thing in the book that said grown-ups take the fun out of things. And I think there's, a, there's some truth to that that sometimes we do, right? And it's been a journey that I've been on lately to just bring that out more, right? That inner child that everyone's talking about the inner child and you want to heal that, right? I believe that letting that come out to play is one of the best ways you can heal that and I know 
Uh, everyone today also wants results, right? In health, finances, relationships, everything. And I, I, I never say I guarantee because it's impossible to guarantee, but I can almost guarantee that if you, if you work at that level, at, at a deep level of the inner child of that playfulness that wants to come out of you, oh my God, the results are going to be beautiful, amazing, believe me, believe me in every area of life and so I just want to share that idea with you so that maybe you can look at the kids in your life and realize like wow maybe I could learn from them maybe I can be more like them even right be more playful and just laugh smile sing dance run around do whatever the hell you want to do but just bring that inner child out a little more to play believe me it's gonna be amazing so I just wanted to share that idea from the book I thought it was cool I'll definitely be sharing more from that book I think I, I love Bob Proctor he has a, a, a ton of really cool ideas and there's a bunch in the book that I'm gonna be sharing with you so definitely subscribe if you want to get notified when those come out and I'll put a link below so you can check out the book see if it's something that you might be interested in um, just like read some reviews See if it resonates with you. See if you want to check it out. I think some of the ideas are very helpful. So I hope that helps. More coming soon. Have a beautiful day. See you soon.